probably making your carbon footprint small. Um, what do you mean by sustainability? If I knew what the hell that word meant. We are preparing the earth for our children. <laughs> there ain't nothing to say about it. I mean, um, live off the land without trashing it, and like also me. making like it better. Understanding that, that what you do goes beyond yourself. How you're going to um, use the resources around you, and like what you're going to think about, like as you're using them. If something. Um, the energy balance of life that you can think that uh, that that way of living would allow the earth to last much longer. Oftentimes with sustainability we talk about what's called life cycle costs. And life cycle costs basically take into consideration the, the life cycle of the product or the life cycle of um, you know, economically, socially, and environmentally. So it's not just to go out and sculpt with trash, it's to think about your trash. Look at your bottles, look at an old phone book and say, hey, I see grass, I see clothes. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do and environmental doesn't have to be a tree-hugging thing. You can take any career and put green and environmental in front of it and you have a whole new sect of that like, industry. This building is friendly economically, friendly socially, and friendly environmentally, which is really the theme for sustainability. You want to use all of those aspects. It is friendly environmentally because it's a passive solar design. In other words, the long side faces south. In a nutshell, it heats and cools the space. So the heat comes in in the winter and heats up the space. The heat is not allowed in in the summer to cool the space. The second big feature of the building is that we use the sun also to heat the water and run the electricity. So we have the sol solar thermal panels for running, uh, heating the water as well as the photovoltaics for running the electricity. Those are the solar aspects of the building. Inside the building, it's friendly environmentally. These chairs are made out of 75% recycled plastic. The paints over here um, are no or low VOC paint, volatile organic compounds. That's what tends to make people sick in their homes. This is our self-recording classroom. And what you're looking at over there is the light shelf. Oh, the sun will be allowed to come in. It'll bounce off that light shelf and diffuse throughout the ceiling and allow more light to come down. The roof over there are the photovoltaics. And that basically takes the sun's energy and converts it into electricity. It's a simple explanation. And um, on this side over here, we have the solar thermal panels, and that's for heating the water. So both of those um, uh, basically use the sun to heat the water, and the photovoltaics use the sun to run the electricity. The whole idea of this project is that with a little bit of creative thought and teamwork, you can really you can really do just about anything. We're here to draw attention to the fact that you don't have to just use a bucket. You can paper mache with flour and water and make grass out of a phone book, or make little flowers out of cloth, or a tree out of water bottles, or flowers and tires. Flowers out of plastic. That's why we're here. We're here to make people open themselves up and live outside of the box instead of just thinking outside of it. Just inspire others. Believe in your vision so strong that other people will buy into it and help you make it a reality that everyone can benefit from.
trying to help.